Hi, it's Drew here. Just want to walk you through a quick tutorial on how to do a PayPal split payment in WooCommerce. So this is going to be using our PayPal for WooCommerce plugin and our multi-account management plugin. So you'll need those installed to move forward with this. Assuming those are installed, the first thing we need to do is configure a primary account inside the main plugin Express Checkout settings. So we'll go to WooCommerce settings and the payments tab. And the PayPal for WooCommerce adds quite a few PayPal options in here. We're going to work with Express Checkout to do split payments. So we'll click into the settings here. And we just need to make sure to configure that again, this will be a primary account where all payments will go that do not trigger a secondary account rule. So in this case, I'm working with the sandbox. So I've got a uh, primary account credentials populated here. If you're going to be working live, you would just uncheck this box and fill out your live PayPal account credentials. For now, I'll leave it on sandbox for testing purposes. And you can review our documentation on the Express Checkout Setup Guide for more details about all of these options. Real quickly, we'll just go through and we'll enable it on the product pages. And there's a lot of options in here. Again, this video isn't specific to this. We'll do other videos on that. But we just need to get our primary account with Express Checkout all configured here. So here we'll go ahead and make a couple of adjustments to the smart buttons just for fun. While we're here, we can give you way, some of the options that you can do here. So we'll go ahead, maybe we'll take a look at vertical. And yeah, we like that. So we'll go ahead and stick with vertical for now. Here's some more smart button options for location specific settings. We'll go ahead and save settings so that we can move forward. So we now have our primary account set up and ready to go. So we'll click to PayPal multi-account setup, and this is where we're going to set up an Express Checkout account for a, set for a specific product. So in this example, we're going to go ahead and treat, we'll, we'll say this will be for PayPal help. So any order for PayPal help is going to go to this PayPal account based on this email address. We can fill in API credentials for the secondary account here if we want to. That's going to be required if we're going to be doing refunds. But if we're not worried about that, we'll just leave it blank for now. And then we can start configuring the rule. So you can refer to the documentation for the multi-account plugins for more details on these. They're pretty straightforward. Right now, we're just going to do a rule based on a specific product. So I'm going to go down to the products field and I'm going to choose PayPal help. So again, pretty simple here. We've just got a rule configured with a secondary account email associated with the PayPal help product. Everything else we're leaving as the defaults. We'll save these changes and we can see our rule got saved here. Again, PayPal help going to this email address. And if we want to click on this products link here, we can remind ourselves which product that was set up for. So now we can go and we'll set up another secondary account. And we'll enable this one. Again, we'll use the sandbox. And this time we'll do one for premium support. And we'll have a separate PayPal account email that we'll use for this one. This is another sandbox account. Again, I'll leave the credentials blank. And again, we'll just go straight to products. And we'll choose premium support this time. And we'll save that. So now anytime an order is placed with a PayPal help product included, that portion would be paid to that account. And the same goes with premium support here. So we are all set up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and go back to the front end of the website and take a look at how this will work. I'm going to add the premium support product, which is one of the secondary 
account rules that we created. We'll add that to our shopping cart. Go back to my home page here real quick and we'll add the other item which was PayPal help. Add that to the cart. And now we have both premium support and PayPal help included in our cart. And our rules were configured so that those will be paid to separate secondary accounts. So now we'll go ahead and click a PayPal button. We're going to log in with a buyer account that we have set up here. We'll get logged in, choose our funding source, and we'll go ahead and say pay now. So that's going to process the order. We can see the order was completed and received and it breaks down our line items here and all the general info. Everything looks standard at this point. So we'll go ahead and go into the admin panel and look at the WooCommerce order details there. So here we can see the order that we just placed. When we click into the details of this, we'll see two line items and we can see two separate PayPal transaction IDs here because two separate payments were made. And we can also see those in the order notes. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the actual sandbox accounts where those payments went to. So we'll log in to the first one here. And here we can see our payment of $100. When we click into the transaction details, we can see the product was PayPal help. And it was successfully paid to the email address that we entered in the plugin for that product. So now we'll log out of this one and we'll log right back in with our other PayPal seller account that we were working with. And this one was for the premium support product. And so again, we'll see our order that just came through recently here. We click into the details of that. We can see this was for premium support. And of course, this was paid to the separate sandbox seller account. So we were able to see from the multi account, everything in here, we can create as many rules as we want. And we could utilize more variables here to have more dynamic rules created. But any rule that's triggered will pay that account accordingly. So it could be all to one account or it could be split payments like we see here.